The first in a year's convergence by the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry and members of the press held today as the third female president, Toke Magbongunje, was elected in December and addressed the press. She presented a brief on the state of the economy as she highlighted issues regarding the increase in the VAT from 5% to 7.5% in what she said would affect production costs. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the economy grew at an average of 2.17% between January and September 2019, which is below the population growth rate of about 3%. In the third quarter of 2019, 10 sectors expanded, 6 contracted, and 3 recorded moderate moderation in growth. We believe the economy is not growing fast enough to create opportunities for the citizens of this country. We therefore urge government, as a matter of urgency, to intensify diversification efforts and embrace structural reforms to attract private investment in stimulating economic growth. Considering the role of business in the economy, we advise government to vigorously implement friendly policies to support expansion of businesses. Rising inflation has a profound welfare effect on citizens as it weakens purchasing power. Heightened food inflation naturally escalates poverty, poverty conditions as food is basic to human existence. Intense inflationary pressure also have a negative impact on investment as cost of production and business operation increases. This typically takes a toll on profit margins as sales and turnover declines. Private investment inflows to Nigeria stood at 19.7 billion from the first to the third quarter of 2019. The domination of portfolio investments in total capital importation combined with a sustained decline in foreign direct investment highlights the fact that the economy is considered risky we should prioritize foreign direct investment over foreign portfolio investment. There is need for prompt disbursement of funds for capital projects. We want government to create effective monitoring mechanisms for proper oversight functions to achieve intended outcomes. It is equally important for government and its agencies to release performance reports to stakeholders and general public on a periodic basis. However, the increase in VAT rate from 5% to 7.5% gives us concern. The new tax regime does not bode well for manufacturers and other stakeholders in the real economy. The new tax regime will affect cost of production and profit margin with consumers at the receiving end. We advise government to utilize the additional income that will be generated by the increase in VAT to develop quality infrastructure.